All right, in this video, I'm gonna cover the Bendix DC four valve or a double check valve. So the theory behind a double check valve is pretty simple. We put a double check valve in a brake system between these two tanks because we want um, to have a situation of redundancy. And what does that mean? Here we see that this yellow line is plumbed is going to be my supply for my spring brakes and we covered uh, the spring brake relay valve in a different video but we see the supply line uh, for this relay valve and we see that it's plumped into this double check valve and why is that the case because in an emergency situation we want the uh, if possible, we always want to generate a means to keep the uh, service brakes intact and keep the um, hold off from applying uh, rapidly. So if, we, if possible, we're going to want to be able to use air supply from either tank. So whether it be our primary or our secondary tank. So the role of the DC4 valve is to make sure that if we lose one tank that we maintain the integrity of the other. And how does it do that? Basically you have a piston located inside of this valve. And that piston or a puck, I think of it as like a hockey puck that has floats uh, up and up or down, it can move up or down. So right now it will be in an equalized state, which is going to allow air to mix from both of these tanks and then go into the go into our uh, parking brake uh, relay valve. Um, if it was the case where I started to lose air, so in this case I'm going to start to drain air from our uh, <clears throat> from our uh, secondary tank. So first, let's look. So we see about a hundred and let's say 110 psi inside of each tank. A little over 110 psi inside of each tank. Okay. So let me start to drain the tanks. So I'm going to start draining the tanks. And initially, you'll notice that both tanks are, in fact, draining. But what's going to happen? As this tank continues to drain, and that puck, and the air pressure inside of this tank forces the puck and the DC4 valve to close off this line, this tank can continue to drain out while our primary tank still maintains all its air. And that can work in either direction. I'll fill it back up, fill the system back up. Hear our purge valve go off. Go back. See our air pressure. Air pressure the same inside each, inside both tanks. So now I'm going to drain the primary tank. Start losing air in both primary and secondary. Now the air in this line has moved the piston inside the DC4 valve down. We continue to lose air inside of our primary tank. However, the air pressure has stabilized inside of our secondary tank. And we still have air to actuate our parking brake. Don't believe me? Press down on the parking brake. What do we see? 
60 PSI, 60 PSI, 60 PSI, 60 PSI. And now we see that that 60 PSI is coming from our uh, secondary tank. So that's it. The DC4 valve is important in that way. It's a really important valve, not a big valve, but an important valve nonetheless. Uh, I will leave a uh, service sheet in the description portion of this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. All right, have a good one. Bye.